Greetings all, it's Blue Knight, and welcome back to Paper Mario. Previously, we went through the caves of Bowser's castle. Yeah, didn't expect to see something like that of all things in such a royal quote-unquote place like this. But we did find such a thing and went through it in one sitting, which was fairly quick to my surprise. Eventually, we landed ourselves into a lobby of sorts, which contains an item shop and a toad house, which we just recovered from to get all our strength back. Today, we're going to leave this toad house, impromptu as it may seem, to continue on with the adventure through Bowser's Castle. We shouldn't be that much farther away from the end point of this place, actually. We still have a bit of a ways to go, but the next few roadblocks in our way are going to be pretty tough. So I hope I'm prepped up for what's going to be going on or lying in our wake for the upcoming time we have left in the castle. Also some inhabitants here inside the toad house. Which is pretty appropriate because it was a prison cell at first, but that toad made it to be more beneficial for us. So on the way over here, I'm going to take a quick stop and save, just to be safe. And then we'll head over to the item shop to see if I need to get anything for what's going to be coming up. I feel like I'm fairly prepared for what, what's going to be lying ahead, but just be safe. We can't come over here. Let's see, how many items do I have right now? Five, six... <laughs> Still got that pebble reserve for Bowser. That's seven, eight, nine. I can only afford one more. Hmm. But what to collect? What to collect? I could go for something health wise, but I think I'm pretty safe in terms of health. Yeah, I got about like four items plus the two revivals in the form of our life troops so i might go for something offensive we actually can't see the description of all of these so we gotta speak to this spiky goober to see what's the deal i oh, don't know your face maybe you're mario huh <laughs> just joking i'm the guard of this warehouse i'm really really bored man hey you know if you got any coins i'll sell you stuff Oh, you're loaded, man. Take a look around. I'll sell anything you see. Alright, so all we have to do is just speak to the guy to get these items to become available to us. That's good. At least there's one nice Gooba besides Goobario out there that will actually be somewhat cooperative with us. So let's see. The power block inflicts 2 damage. We can get another Thunder Rage. That, that gives a guaranteed 5. We can just gamble with the mystery. That seems like a bad thing, though. Dizzy Dial. Might be helpful for what's coming up. Not too sure. I think for the sake of guaranteeing damage, I'll go for another Thunder Rage. And we'll roll with that for now. Hang on. Do I actually have too much? Two, three, four... Oh, I actually have stocked up. Um, okay. I think I will store that maple syrup, and then we'll go back to get it after we get through the roadblocks that I am worried about. It's only going to be temporary. Besides, we actually have those yummy... those yummy meals and the... Uh, Bumps from Waka that could also give me FP as well as HP back. So I'll be getting both stats restored if I ever decide to use an item. Just be more safe. I'll switch over to Gubario and I'll take a moment just to organize my badges too because believe me when I say this, when we got some major roadblocks coming up ahead, I mean it. So it's best to organize your badges as soon as possible 
before you do end up running into said Roblox. To my surprise, the badges I have on right now are actually going to help me out for what's coming up ahead. Uh, the only thing I took off was uh, the spike shield, and I decided to split those remaining BP up onto some deep focus badges for once. Given how much of a focus I've had on star focus power recently, I feel like it was appropriate. <laughs> I'm early. This seemed to help me out a lot. So I don't know why you like to be so nice to me, but uh, like I said, I'll take it. I'll always take it. Technically, invisibility doesn't count as a buff, does it? I'm still gonna try this anyways. See if it works. Highly doubt it will, but you never know what could happen. Always nice to experiment. Oh, it does work! Okay. So invisibility does count as a buff. That I would never have suspected. Well, the bad news is, I picked the worst time to disengage uh, the spike shield badge. So I picked a really bad time to not have Mario jump on this guy. But just like the beetles we have dealt with as well as the Koopas, these guys can be flipped onto their onto their shell, so they're, they'll be totally defenseless for what's coming up. Totally forgot about that guy. Oh, that's really bad. An attack boost plus an invincibility. Well, it's a good they got the star beam out, out now. Otherwise, I would have no counter against this combination. I really wouldn't think a visibility would count as a buff. I know it's coming for magic Koopas, but still, I wouldn't write that off as more as a status effect of anything else. I'm pretty sure that magic Koopas can still fight when they're in a pack. It's just when there's only one by themselves, then that lone magic Koopa will run away. You went invisible again. The good thing my star beam has no cost for any reason, so I can just use this as many times as I want. It's a good thing I picked up on this, so I'm pretty sure, given how many Koopa Troll guards we have come across so far, I'm sure they did intend you to to utilize the star beam very frequently. Gotta be why that they give it to you so fairly early on when you're entering the Bowser Castle. Do those magic Koopas was Aw oh, man, two points away, come on! I can't even do this in the game. Ah, another time where I could have really double my experience and would have helped me out so much. You? Ah, wonderful. It's a whole pack of you now. Now we'll use this. I've really used timeout and I could probably use a, a way to just stun these guys right now. <laughs> That'll probably be most beneficial in just going for help again. And it did work. Great. For three turns. I gotta utilize those turns very efficiently. I'm leaving any of these guys surviving. Just take them all out with one last spiny surge. And that's enough to give me my next level up. Way more than I needed to cross over that threshold. And that's going to FP this time. Pretty sure I'm getting close to the maximum amount for upgrading by now. Just have to deal with that hot mess. Now this is the part I'm sure I remember. Yeah, this looks familiar. Got to get to that switch. So let's keep pressing forward. Onward, Cloudy Steed! You'll be most useful for what's coming up. <laughs> At least I'm sure of it. I'm waiting for it to appear, but just say, say that we come across another locked door. 
So we'll both gotta backtrack a little bit. And pull down this chain. Gotta yank this castle's chain. Not gonna produce a joke though. It's gonna give us some water instead. So this piece gotta get sushi out of here. Been a while since I had sushi out for any reason. It seems like all she's good for nowadays is just for swimming. So, good for you, Sushi. You're, you're fulfilling your main purpose in life, at least for Mario. Because I don't really use her for battle that often, unless it's for fire enemies. And I really have no other or very few options in the way of exploiting their weaknesses. We got a wall here the way. Can't cross over to the other direction to get that key yet. So blow that wall. Easy work for Bobette. Hey, another switch over here. We'll hit that. Okay, this is becoming kind of familiar. So I'm pretty sure that middle platform has to have a purpose for some reason. Or maybe it's just far the pathway for all I know so yank this chain down continue raising the water level and that should get us to the key we just saw I'm kind of expecting some enemies to chase me down while I'm going down this pathway again so it looks like I was being paranoid for nothing yeah I was I was really expecting that though at least soon she could get a little more screen time even if it, if it is just for swimming. Get over to the other side. And we got that castle key. But now the problem is, how do we drain the water? Because we kind of need the ground to unlock that door. Well, the only way to get through there is to go back down the hole. Or through the hole, rather. Keep going through here, unless there's no other way. Uh, maybe the only way is to get the chain again, and that decreases the wall level. Okay. You really wouldn't think that just yanking the chain twice would drain the water. That wouldn't be a mechanic that I would ever think to implement for any purpose. At least the water is low enough now so Sushi could swim again. Let's check over here over time. Yeah, no way to go over that direction. So we'll cross over here. And keep on swimming. And keep on swimming. Just swim and swim and swim some more. Until we hit the dead end. But we need to go over here to get this other chain. And that totally drains the water. How the water, like, recedes, uh, or just goes away, is a mystery in itself. Maybe it's due to those windows in the background. They probably act as, like, drainage holes for the water. Makes me wonder why they have water even implemented in this room at all to begin with. You think that would operate as, like, some sort of hazard as well. Now this one I was thinking of. You want to get blow out for this. Now watch out for these bullet bells. They're not your regular bullet bells because they're colored differently. <laughs> I couldn't believe it blocked that. So these guys might be bullet bells, but they're actually called bombshell bells. Well, let's deal with them immediately before we... Tattle them, because uh, I want to get to the source before I do have to expose their info. So we won't get to know their stats yet, and this is why. So the bombshell bills come from these things uh, called the bombshell or the B bill, bill B bill blasters. That should not be hard to say. 
Baby Blasters shoot a constant stream of bombshell bills. Max HP 10, Defense 4. They won't attack you directly. They're pretty resilient. You have to keep attacking though, otherwise the air will be filled with bombshell bills. And nobody wants that. Heck yeah, good Mario. Nobody wants it at all. They have really sturdy defense, so I gotta find some way to hurt them, uh, and hurt them a lot. I can just fall back on an item and hope for the best that way, but I want to save those for later on. On the other hand, I could just use my star power, but I know where that got me before and I don't, I'm not making that mistake again. Let's go for a Mega Quake. Oh, hey Burly! Once again, all that timing. All that time to just decide what to do really didn't mean much in the grand scheme of things because she was waiting in the wings to be our guardian angel again. That helped out a lot. And I'm feeling more confident about dealing with the Bebo blasters so I could deal with their ammo. Bombshell bills have such beautiful gold casings. Of course, if you sit and admire them, you'll get hit. Max HP 3, attack power 6. Pay attention to the HP because their explosions get bigger as their as their HP drops. Let's think about before they get near us. And I'm sure with a simple multi-bounce, I could deal with them. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to hurt those uh, blasters though. So it's gotta be something really sturdy to take care of them. Let's go for what? When in doubt, if there's defense in the way, always resort to our defense piercing weapon. And she'll be more than capable of taking down those bills by herself. I can just resort to something that requires... Actually, yeah, I will do that. I'll use D-Down Powder. I'll see we'll see about saving my FP, but I just remembered. I did have D-Down Powder so I can just negate, negate their defense as Mario too. So that didn't turn out to be that much of a hazard, or any hazard at all. I was really fearing this to be a lot more deadly than it turned out to be. So if I'm correct, there should be a second pair of... Yep, there's a second pair of blasters awaiting on the other side of this staircase too. Pretty simple, just zigzag your way across. And we jump on them, that's when the fight starts. Of course, since these are bullet bills that we are dealing with, you can use those blasters as a way to grind up your star experience reward if you choose to do so. The Reaper this time. Let's not be careful here. <laughs> that was so close to the end too. I'll just jump on you. Deal with you quickly. And we'll take care of you. So as I was saying, you can't use these people blasters to grind up star points, but it's going to be pretty risky since they are a palette swap version of regular bullet bills we dealt with in the past. <laughs> and as we all know in RPGs, uh, palette swapped enemies tend to be pretty dangerous because they have a different tint of color around, around them. <laughs> that takes care of the first pair. Now for the other one. And this might be the last pair we have to deal with in this section. Uh, Zigzag to avoid the ammo. <laughs> okay, that did, that's not how I was expecting things to go out <laughs> or turn out. <laughs> Yet yeah, it would have mattered anyway since uh, jumping uh, onto the Beeble blasters wouldn't affect them at all as Mario. <laughs> Unless I'm in a fight and, use, and I'm using something like this. Um, really? I know you're my guardian angel at all, but this is not gonna help at all. Because these kind of blasters cannot attack me directly. In fact, they didn't even try to shoot out any more bombshell bills. So you just kind of wasted your 
magic there a little bit. Oh well. It's not like she's had the most perfect track record of this game anyways. <laughs> if that was true, then she would be pretty broken. <laughs> On the other hand, that was the last of the blasters we had to deal with. Oh! And this is a new enemy we haven't seen yet. We still got some time, we'll deal with this guy too. He's gonna be pretty dangerous though. He's already tried to get the attack on us. Just gotta avoid his bones. I'll go right for him. Hey! Maple syrup! That was a nice surprise to find. Pretty sure I'm not gonna pick that up though because... Well, that's I should actually because I haven't, haven't burning through some FP a little bit now. Anyways, here are some dry bones. Drop those on skeletal remains from Koopa Troopas. Max P HP 8, attack 4, defense 2. Just when you think they're beat, these guys rise back up and attack again. You're gonna have to beat them all at once. Or you could use fire attacks. If they become ashes, there's no way they'll recover. Yeah, they can use bone throw, just like we saw outside of the battle. And they can reassemble since they are the undead we're speaking of here. Even after you deplete all their HP. So the only way to deal with them permanently is to use some sort of fire type maneuver like the fire shell. To make sure that once they are done, they never rise back up again. I was expecting to just hold the stick back. I forgot I had to do it like repeatedly for the fire shell. I did generate enough momentum to kill them though. Oh, no, come back! Ah, that's, that, went, that went away. I was not expecting that maple strip to go away so soon. And I want to keep the rest of my items for what's coming up. Really help it on doing that. Okay, let's see what block number two has in store for me. Super Mushroom, I thought so. We'll toss this away momentarily. Then use this very fast. There we go, got some health back. And then get that back too. It's a shame I couldn't get that maple syrup though. That one dry bones. If there's one purpose it did fulfill in its last few moments of life, it was to stall me from getting that one item. If that ends up being like the one item that costs me like victory or defeat or just determines victory or defeat for me, then that's, that's gonna make me a little mad. So we push that down. Go through here. Hopefully what's coming up next might be on the other side. Yeah, it's looking like it, so. I think we'll just itch for a little bit, and then we'll stop for today. We went through even more Bowser's Castle, and I'm pretty sure we're nearing the end by now. By the way, the Dry Bones that we dealt with, this game is the only appearance they ever had on the N64. Pretty shocking to think that for an enemy that's kind of frequent in Mario games nowadays, at least in the modern ones, there was a time in their lives that they didn't really make that much of an appearance. It's kind of weird to think about now in today's climate. But that is the truth when it comes to the N64. With that being said, next time we're going to press on ahead and see if we can get through what remains of Bowser's Castle on our way up to Peach's Castle. Until we meet again, farewell for now.